afternoon. So I just got a new computer and it's designated as writing computer um, as like my kind of reward like here's your tax return, you're an adult and you publish a novel so buy a new computer because my old one would like overheat ex like crazy overheat. I got on it today to download a couple albums and it was just like my computer my new computer I had on for about like six hours yesterday and when it barely started feeling hot was how hot my old computer gets as soon as it's turned on like it's crazy and so I'm trying to vlog on it hopefully like the mic will catch more of what I'm saying I've heard that it's really hard to hear me and stuff on here with my vlogs especially because I had this fan underneath my old computer so it's always like this because my computer sucks but, new computer, new recording system, and it's actually showing me my time now, so maybe I won't make these vlogs like 10 minutes long, because they're so long. So, I had a couple, I didn't know what to talk about today, and I've been waiting for my parents to leave so I could actually talk about something, and record a vlog without being embarrassed, like, oh my gosh, everybody's in my house watching me, because that's embarrassing, it really is. So, I was thinking about what to do, and while I was making, I was getting some of the soup my dad made. He made tofu soup, but he put chicken in it for himself and didn't realize that, oh hey, when chicken cooks, it breaks up easier. So there's like little pieces in it. So I spent a lot of time trying to pick out the little pieces because I'm hungry and there's nothing else to eat. And my dad went, took the time to actually make something with tofu in it for once. But one of the things that I don't understand is when people think that they can control someone else's body in any way. Like, I understand I've heard the concept of, you know, parents are the people who created your body so they might have a little bit of say in it or at least they have feelings about what you do with your body, which, you know, makes sense. But I personally believe that this, I have my own mind. I don't need my parents to think for me, so why should they think for me that with stuff that has to do with my body? I've been vegetarian for, in a couple weeks, I'll be vegetarian for a year. And in this past year, I've also got two tattoos, and I've just become a lot more myself. I feel more myself now than I've ever felt in my life. And it's great. I feel happy. Uh, I feel healthy compared to what I was last year. And I just, I feel like I'm comfortable with my own skin, or more comfortable. I'm not all the way comfortable, but my parents, especially, there's just a lot of opinions in my house and one of them is that being vegetarian is stupid but it's like it's my body I'm putting it in my body I'm putting vegetables and I'm being more conscious about what I'm putting in my body and I'm trying to be healthier instead of constantly you know instead of thinking wow I'm hungry what can I go eat instead of going and getting like a burger that's really fast and getting you know the extra large fries the extra large Dr. Pepper because it's there instead I go and I get like vegetables like I eat a avocado instead you know just changing up my diet and it's helped a lot and I feel much better about myself and I don't feel so groggy all the time and so it's just kinda like I think I, I don't understand why it's such a big deal if I'm being healthy I'm eating what I wanna eat most of the time I'm buying my own food what is so damn wrong with being vegetarian there's nothing wrong with being vegetarian there's nothing wrong with eating meat but it's my body and I get told a lot that it's stupid that I'm a vegetarian because it's just a waste of time and I don't know I think that's such bullshit I also think to do with this with it being my body I have control of what goes into my body I have control of what goes on my body I have two tattoos whoop de freaking do it doesn't affect my parents in any way. It's not like people are going to look at me and think, oh wow, that girl has tattoos. I'm sure her parents are so disappointed in her. I want people to look at my tattoos and be like, damn girl, your tattoos are awesome. Because I think they're awesome. I mean, my first tattoo was giving me my first tattoo. I was going to put it right here on my uh, arm, but I can't have exposed tattoos at work. But it's an album art cover from He Is We, the band. And that album has just got me through a lot of hard times. So it's like, why should I be ashamed that I have on my body something that reminds me that I am a survivor of my own depression and that I have made it this far and I can make it one more day? Why should I be ashamed of that? Why should I not get into heaven or be shunned by so many different religions and stuff 
or just like not shunned by religion, shunned by people who believe that that is wrong because they don't want to get a tattoo. So why should I get a tattoo? And then I have a Harry Potter tattoo because Harry Potter's freaking awesome. Okay, and like Harry Potter was my childhood and I just love it. I'm Gryffindor, I'm proud of it. I would not give up that tattoo for anything. It took seven hours, but you know, worth it still. But I don't understand why people think that because they don't want to do something with their body, it's wrong if someone else does it with their body. I'm not gonna eat meat. I don't want to eat meat. I plan on being vegetarian for at least another year before thinking about adding meat into my diet again. And if I do, it's probably just going to be fish. I'll probably be a pescatarian instead. While I joke with people and be like, oh my gosh, you're eating dead animals, they know it's joking. I'm not telling them, I can't be your friend because you eat meat. And that is wrong because I don't eat meat and I think that's wrong. It's totally their choice what they eat and what they put in their body because it's not my body. They can put in their body what they want to put in their body. But other people need to stop telling me what I can and can't put in and on my body because I'm not telling them what they can't put in and on their body. I don't care if you don't have tattoos as long as you don't care that I have tattoos. At least I don't have a tattoo that says fuck you on my forehead. Okay, you can be maybe a little offended by that because I think I would be a little offended by that and be like, why would you get that? But you know, if you want to get a tattoo that says that, good for you. I don't care. I really don't care. It's what you want to do. It's your body. You can do what you want. If you want to get a piercing, piercings all over your face, good for you. Go and do it. If you want to be inked everywhere, go ahead and go do it. If you want to get a piercing where no one's going to necessarily see unless you let them, go ahead. Because it's not my body and it's not my choice and it's your choice and your body and you can do whatever you want with your body. I also get a lot of flack for my hair color. I was always teased growing up, you know, like, you have such beautiful hair. And then I just went out one day. I didn't tell my dad because he was always like, you can't color your beautiful blonde hair. I went out and colored my hair dark, dark brown with blue in it. And I didn't tell him and I just came home and it was done. And it was just like, it's hair. It grows back. It's my hair. I can do what it, how I, I can do whatever I want with my hair. I can do whatever I want with my body. I can put whatever I want in my body. It's my choice. I know the consequences of it. And the stuff I'm doing with my body and putting on my body, there's no consequences of it right now. So I think everyone needs to grow up without that. And I'm glad that I have, my friends are the coolest people ever because like one of my friends who's totally amazing and awesome, she went with me to get my first tattoo and I know she's probably never going to get a tattoo, which is okay. She's okay with never getting a tattoo and she's okay with me being covered in tattoos. That's what friends are for. But like my family, they just, they just don't get it. They just criticize me a lot for it, and I'm just tired of it. So I'm really ready to move out, be on my own, and not get shunned for doing what I want with my body. So that's the end of the vlog today. Cutting it short before 10 minutes because I realize it's getting really close to 10 minutes. So I hope everyone has a fantastic day and wonderful weekend. And do whatever in the fuck you want with your body because you rock and you show that.